this is a time consuming t task indeed and with quick fuel you can do it faster let me show you usually you work with quick fuel through its graphic user interface through quick field windows quick field also has programming interface we call it active field you can control quick field from within other windows applications including your own program or even from microsoft office makers all actions you do through graphic user interface are available in programming interface too and we utilize this interface ourselves you already saw the harmonix browser that was an active field based utility now i'll show you another utility the label mover Label Mover is good for parametric analysis. It can perform series calculation, tolerance analysis, and optimization. Well, now I, I need to calculate some series of problems. What should I do to automate this task? First, I choose the base problem. This is the base problem. My AC motor. Then, I choose the value to measure. I would like to measure the torque acting on my rotor and the cage. Okay, I will measure the torque. And what I would like to change in my problem? I would like to change the frequency. say I will reduce it twice now it is 50 Hz then it would be 25 Hz and I would like to repeat this step seven times So I have the base problem, my AC motor, I specify values to measure, and I specify the steps to perform. Now let's get the result. You see, Level Mover makes quick field to generate several problems. Five, seven problems. Then it requests quick field to adjust each problem to change frequency. Then all problems will be solved. You see the problems are solved now. And the results, the torque will be measured and the results will be stored in this table. And the same way you can perform tolerance analysis and optimization. For example, you need some value of the torque and you, some value, and you ask label mover to change the voltage. Here I change the frequency and you would ask to change the voltage and 
asked to change the voltage some way to get the required torque. This will be optimization. Now the results are almost ready. The last problem is solved. I take no action now. It's all automatically. Yes, the results are ready. Let's take a look at the plot. This way, very easy. We get the complete chart with a speed curve. And the last problem I would like to show you. is an AC motor connected to the single phase supply. This is my AC motor, the same model. It's AC magnetic problem with the external circuit attached. And in external circuit, I specify the connection scheme. You see this is the capacitor and my three phase winding. And my single phase voltage supply. Let's take a look at the field. And the interesting question, will this motor work or not? I will show you. It's a C problem and I can change the face here. 5, 10 degrees. And quick field will close the field lines for each phase value and we can do it automatically. I ran the animation now. You see it will change the phase and redraw the picture. Yes, it rotates and my motor will work. My presentation is over. Thank you.